I stumbled across a word recently, ecotherapy. And as soon as I read it, I was like, of course. As part of my personal mission, I'm trying to see how fit and healthy I can stay at 46 and beyond without pills, potions or powders. A very in vogue supplement in recent years is vitamin D. Apparently we're pretty deficient in it, especially in countries like the UK where there's very little sunlight and it being winter right now, that doesn't help at all. But since changing the way I eat, my cold tolerance has improved and I've made it my goal this winter to wear shorts during the day for as long as possible, which is hopefully before hypothermia sets in. According to some specialists in metabolism and light biology, areas like the calves and the stomach may be especially responsive to daylight and cold exposure. Shorts I can handle, but no matter the weather, me in a crop top in southwest London won't go down well. It's estimated we spend 90% of our time indoors, whereas our longest lived pre-Netflix ancestors spent about 90% of their time outdoors. It's debatable whether there's enough ultraviolet B in Streatham right now for my skin to make vitamin D at all. But winter daylight apparently still carries red and infrared wavelengths that support healthy cell function and help anchor our internal body clock, also known as the circadian rhythm. An emerging field of research is exploring the idea that cold exposure may influence vitamin D pathways as a compensatory mechanism for when ultraviolet B rays are too low. But what is well established is that cold air activates brown fat, a tissue linked to metabolic health and longevity, and the increase of hormones that improve mood, focus and resilience. I used to be a daily cold shower person, but not anymore. Maybe it's age making me more sensitive or more sensible. But these days I prefer my hormetic stresses on the mild gradual side. Less of what kills me, more of what makes me slowly stronger. As long as my top half is suitably layered and I've got warm socks on, then cold air exposure on my legs is a manageable stressor for now. So if you see me in shorts this winter, I'm not confused. It's all for N of 1 citizen science. But if you see me in shorts and a crop top, I'm running a different kind of experiment.